Hi everybody, this is Beth. <clears throat> so, Aaron at Simple Art for Adults made a hashtag called June Juxtaposition, shortened to June Jux, J-U-N-E-J-U-X, and basically what it is is to show some of your first colorings and then show some of your most recent to see how far you've come on your coloring journey. I was tagged to do this by Becky's Color Escape. So my first book was Secret Garden by jo Johanna Basford, which is a lot of people's first book. And here's one of the first pages that I did. It's the first time I ever tried pastels. And you can see I totally messed up. It got all over everything. There's no blending or shading or anything like that. This was the first picture I ever colored in what like an actual coloring book meant for adults. And I think for somebody that had never done it before, it's okay. The colors, I still think are pretty good. I clearly didn't know uh, anything about layering or anything like that. But I don't think it's too bad. I'm still proud of it. Then my second book was Enchanted Forest. Here's the title page. I tried... To create a background using all pencils then the nameplate which at the time I was super proud of I believe all of this was Prismacolor here's this picture which I absolutely do not like I do not like the colors but you can tell it's just straight coloring but it was really fun and I was learning and then I have this little mushroom house and this one I think I was really proud of the mushrooms but I did not like the door at all I hated the door Mom, can I see the mushroom? hold on baby sorry that's my daughter Morgan you want to look at it? Okay, here, go look at it. Here you go. So, I haven't actually finished a picture in June yet because I've been super busy. But here's the most recent pictures that I've done. This one is in Daydreams by Hannah Carlson. And it's actually for the HK5 project. This is um, the book that Sky at Dream and Color has. And this is the page that I had. Sky? And I used... Yeah. My, my, and then I used... No, baby. Do I used I Black who? Widow pencils, Prismacolors, Neo 2, and then some white gel pen and some watered-down white Can acrylic for, for the background. Can I color for a minute? No, baby. Hold on. One minute. Just one minute. Okay. Sorry, guys. Um, the next page I did for Becky's Magical Jungle Color Along, and on this one I used Crayola Markers, Mom, Black do? Widow and Arteza Pencils, White Gel Pen, Glitter Gel Pen, Black oh. Posca. I just threw all kinds of stuff at it, and it was a whole lot of fun, but you can tell that my shading and stuff has gotten a whole lot better. So I was actually really proud of this one. I thought it turned out nice. What do this do? Um, and then do Becky do? also had a buddy color. And Lisette and I did this picture out of Dreams of Dragons and Dragon Kin. And here's my dragon. I'm try. And I sorry. I was super proud of him. I thought he turned out pretty good. 
and that was all polychromos and then um a little bit of Ganzai Tambi Starry paint, some white gel pen. I used a couple of Crayola pencils in there. And then the one I'm working on right now is another one Mama, for the HK5 project. And this is out of the book that Becky has. So this is not done. It's a work in progress. What do this do? But this is Summer Nights by Hannah Crawls on. What do this and do? I have this. Hold on, that's an eraser. I have this but double page oasis? of frogs. How we can erase it? Hold on, I'll show you. And so far I have used Prismas it's and like Black Widows. Look. It's like um, a Crayola Super Tip markers. And that might be it so far. But I'm really proud of my tree. I thought that turned out awesome. So the people that I would like to tag to do this are okay Sky dream? at Dream in Color okay and KP dream? from KP Mom, Colors. Okay I can't dream? wait to see you guys' pictures and thanks everybody.